Welcome to JSA TV Live, the newsroom for data center and telecom professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell coming to you today live from the floor of Data Cloud Global Congress here in beautiful Monaco. Nice place to be. And joining me today is Don McNeil, Chief Revenue Officer for Edge Connects. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Barb. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So, Don, I understand you just took on a new role as CRO. You have a history with Edge Connects, but you've moved into this, this new role. Tell us what that means in terms of how you, your role specifically fits into the, the plans for global expansion of yeah, Edge Connects. Well, thanks for that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been great to step into the new role at, at candidly, a very exciting time for the company. Yeah. Um, a, as you mentioned, you know, certainly Europe is a, a very, very important market for us, but but more importantly, we've continued to expand through the Asia Pacific, uh, South America, and yeah. you know, shortly we'll be into the Middle East and Africa region. But uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's an exciting time to be at Edge Connects. Yeah, it's it's oh, I I think I always say this, but it's it's very exciting. I think to to watch Edge Connects and and how you've been really yeah, um, this global expansion has been playing out for you. Uh, you you know are experts in various deployments, large scale deployments. Um, and, and hyperscale. So, so can you talk about some of those solutions and, and how specifically your role comes into play uh, as you're planning for these? Yeah. In again, you know, focusing here on Europe, it's uh, it's always a special region for us because, as we say internally, hy hyper local to hyperscale. Yeah. Uh, Europe is really where we made that transition from our our true you know first generation edge data centers to to our hyperscale solutions that are now deployed. Uh, around the globe and you know from the chief revenue offer officer standpoint you know really being the key conduit in the customer interface so yeah. the organization has not your traditional account managers uh, service managers but also customer implementation so we we have those key touch points that uh, not only touch our hyperscale customers but but our edge customers as well so it, uh, it's, it's something that was a, an investment that Edge Connects wanted to make and, and I think is very timely with, uh, as you mentioned, the global expansion we're going through. Yeah. And you have a number of, you know, great pillars, you know, at Edge Connects that you focus on from, from team growth to, uh, you know, diversity and sustainability, I know is an important one for you. You as CRO, I believe, have been, I would imagine, played pretty critical role in a, a $3.3 billion financing round that is to support some sustainability initiatives. Tell us about that. Yeah, I mean, just just the amount unto itself yeah. it really is a validation of, of, the, of the business and the business plan we've laid forward uh, uh, looking out ahead. But, but as well, the sustainability component to it is it's really something that's been important to Edge Connects all along, but really with uh, the increased focus and, and candidly, our hyperscale customers, they, they've really drove us to become better and, and more pronounced with it. So, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's exciting and, and having the access to, to that uh, growth capital is, is very, very key and, and we're very, very fortunate. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is no small amount and it, it, I agree, I echo uh, what you, you've said. It, it shows it's the validation behind um, the action behind the words, so to speak, and we look forward to seeing it play out. And on that note, what can you sort of talk about other than that as, as if that wasn't enough? You know, what, what should we expect in addition over the next yeah, year? You know, um, I, I touched on it. We, we continue to expand in all regions. So, uh, you know, looking out ahead for the next two years, uh, for sure, we not only have a significant amount of projects underway from a construction and delivery standpoint, but equally the backlog continues to you know, the, the new contracts, the new business we continue to write, um, you know, continues to sustain that that outlook and that future growth. So it uh, it's uh, it's going to be a busy time. And uh, yeah. and again, uh, truly, it's a, it's a great pleasure to be able to watch now the the, the globalization uh, from the CRO seat. So, yeah, a lot, yeah. A lot to look forward to. Yeah. And we are excited to watch uh, as we always are. And uh, so for any of our viewers, I know that uh, I I'm sure that you have a busy rest of week planned here, but for those folks who are on site and want to find you, or for those that weren't able to join us this week and want to connect uh, with you or with your team at Edge Connects, how should they do that? Well, certainly uh, you, you can come in through our website if you're here. We, we have a, a, a meeting room downstairs here at Grimaldi, so nice. uh, certainly stop by. We, we've been fortunate to have a few people come by and knock on the door and we'll do our best to yeah. accommodate but uh yeah no it's it's been a great show and uh, always is and uh, look forward to uh to the close out here yeah 
Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Don. It's always a pleasure, always a pleasure to talk to you and to, to hear about Edge Connects and, and the latest and greatest of what's happening in, in your plans and your initiatives. Uh, so thank you. Thank you, Barb. And thanks to JSA. Yeah, we appreciate your time. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV live here at Data Cloud Global Congress in Monaco. Until next time.